Okay, I've got about five coats on the heads now. Pretty damn shiny. Looking good. We got a nice valve job done on it too. Uh, the valves are recut. It's a five angle valve job. And of course, a little bit of polishing all done up inside. Everything's beautiful and smooth. No sharp edges. Okay, ready to remount number six piston because last time we were here putting the last piece together, we discovered that the connecting rod was mounted backwards on the piston. So that had to be switched out. And it's been switched out. Just put the rings back on and cleaned it up. And I'm almost ready to install it back into the block. You saw the heads earlier. Those will hopefully get bolted on today. Okay, well, got number six in there. Like new. Everything rotates really nice and smooth. Let's see if I can show you. Beautiful. So we've got the high volume oil pump with the drive. Slide this in. Get some oil on the bolt. got the bolt torqued down. Just wanted to point something out. This is the pickup for the oil pump. On the last motor, the reason I had low oil pressure is because this pickup fell out of the oil pump. And I guess apparently that's a pretty common thing on the 4.3. So, right there it's been welded. So now there's no chance that this is ever going to be falling off. And it should not um, ever cause a problem. Uh, it's a high volume oil pump, so I'm going to actually have a much higher oil pressure than I would with any standard pump. So circulation of oil in this motor should not be a problem at all. Just getting ready to put the uh, silicone on here. And then I'm going to put the oil pan gasket. And then get that oil pan going. We've got that high temp silicone, the RTV, in the four corners. Um, I understand that those are the highest points of pressure in the oil system there, and that's the most likely place for it to leak. So, a little bit of uh, silicone on there will help everything hopefully stay together. And whatever spews over onto the outside of the block, once it's dry, you cut it off and just make it nice and clean. Okay, so I've got the oil pan. Got the gasket on and my silicone in the corners. Set this pan on here. Again, I'm oiling the bolts. Okay, hey, oil pan is on and torqued down. You can see the silicone moves out of the corners there. Here. And there. That must mean it's a good seal. And now I'm going to hit the heads with another coat.
cleaned out the, made sure there was no shit in the, uh, in the brushes and everything. I thought you had headers. What are you doing with these all painted up? Let's break it up. Headers, um, does headers say that if you use them? Yeah, great. Yeah. It's crazy. I came here to drop that car off of Josh. That's his little bomb out there. Take a look at it. Nice. And I can stay. Get it? You're now. Hold it. Why does Canada work on 104.3 WOF? Turn this into a lamp, you know? Yeah. There you go, Josh. A can lamp. <laughs> a can lamp. Cool. She's, she's the welder in the family now. Okay, now we're going to go How many, how many age is there though, like really? <laughs> if you say it's really age they'll be like, oh, it's like one of them. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter though, I've got to write a I missed my mustache already. Beautiful. Yeah. First at 24. Second at 45. <laughs> 65 now.
<laughs> Sweet. Yep. That's awesome. Entertainment system just doesn't cut it. Easy answer. Get an HD radio receiver, 100% free digital sound, digital traffic, and great music choices from your local HD2, HD3 radio station. Well, what brands do you have? Best Buy has new expanded HD radio inventory. Alpine, Kenwood, Pioneer, JVC, with prices as low as $120. <laughs> wow, an HD radio. Now, this is the Motor City. These are Detroit's greatest hits. 104.3 WOMC.